Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. As aircraft surfaces evolved from conventional wood constructions to sophisticated composite materials, the technology behind upkeeping those surfaces also advanced. Among those advancements, aircraft washing technology underwent a dramatic evolution, embellishing it with tech-driven innovations. Keeping an aircraft surface glossy does not only result in improving cosmetic beauty, it also maintains the aerodynamic profile of the external surfaces offering improved fuel efficiency. On the other hand, passengers feel more confident boarding a shiny and compelling aircraft. No matter how sophisticated an aircraft is, Washing efforts lagged behind, as scrubbing the aircraft surface with mops was the widely adopted cleaning means among many operators. This labor-intensive method took hours to wash an aircraft, and the process could damage the vital components on the aircraft's exterior as well. Manual washing of the aircraft could not cater to the new demands set by the evolving aviation industry. To address this issue, a solution emerged from robotics and automation. The advent of washing robots revolutionized aircraft washing, as robots could wash an airplane in much less time with less labor. In addition, this method saves up to 50% of the water used for washing, making the new method environmentally friendly as well. While the washing robots serve the intended function, they create a significant spillage that adds chemicals directly into the environment. In addition, a dedicated person should direct the robot through each move. MSG Aviation invented the multi-solution gate which is the world's first closed system for washing aircraft. This system comprises an array of nozzles in a movable arm that projects high pressure fluid onto the aircraft surface. The most significant advantage of the wash system is its shorter turnaround time. It only takes 20 minutes for one complete wash. The system carries a reduced environmental footprint as it utilizes a closed loop system that collects spent fluids and recycles them for future use. Washing an engine is something unheard of for many, but in aviation, gas turbine engines are washed to clean the gas path from airborne contaminants. This results in a better fuel economy and a reduced carbon footprint for the airline.
A mixture of water and detergents is directed to the engine intake while the engine is motoring at a slower RPM. Apart from incorporating robotics and automation into aircraft washing, aircraft manufacturers have taken the initiative to use robotic arms during the manufacturing stages as well. Embraer is using such robotic arms for the painting process of brand new airplanes before they roll out to the market. Another innovative use of robotic arms is the autonomous washing robot at the San Antonio Air Force Base. Unlike commercial airliners, military jets fly through more austere conditions, accumulating grime from engine soot, smoke from the guns, and other fluids. Hence, they need a deep clean to avoid any detrimental outcomes, such as corrosion and structural degradation. A fighter jet like the F-16 requires a bath every 180 days. Cleaning a fighter jet is never an easy task due to its intricate design. As a fighter is filled with more nooks and crannies that could hide grime, only a deep cleaning will take them out completely. The robotic washer has two robot arms running on tracks. These arms could reach every corner of the fighter while undertaking a high quality deep cleaning. While washing an aircraft seems simple and straightforward, when a larger bird pays a visit for a wash, things are about to get tricky. Aircraft like the KC-130 should be washed for the same reason as a fighter, to tackle corrosion. Maintenance personnel cover all sensors and openings to avoid water ingress with blanks and masking tapes. A mixture of soap and water is sprayed with a high pressure gun to clean the surface. Then, the surface is scrubbed to remove all grime and dirt. As all the lubrications are removed during the cleaning, airmen lubricate the required locations as soon as the washing is completed. For washing a C-130J Super Hercules, around eight men are required, and the process may extend up to eight hours. During the manual washing, airmen are more likely to come into contact with the cleaning chemicals. Hence, Using proper personal protective equipment is extremely vital. Airmen working on the wings and other elevated areas wear safety harnesses for fall prevention. Usually, 
Both washing and painting facilities are co-located due to the similarities in their work scopes. The main focus of painting an aircraft is to protect it from corrosion. U.S. Air Force painting facilities use cutting-edge technologies to paint aircraft from their active inventory, which is greater than 5,000. Due to the higher workload, all the U.S. military airplanes are not painted within the Air Force painting facilities. Outside contractors also undertake painting on certain occasions. The C-5 Galaxy plays an indispensable role in the U.S. Air Force fleet as the largest U.S. cargo plane. Despite its mammoth size, the necessity for periodic paintings of the galaxy exists. Painting this 75-foot-long, colossal bird is a task of its own. After removing the old paint, a thorough inspection is carried out to identify deformities in the base metal. The top coat provides a smooth finish that is crucial for reducing drag. As painting an aircraft is a vital maintenance task, both military and commercial operators stick to a schedule for painting. According to Emirates, an A380 should be repainted every seven to eight years of service. Once an aircraft reaches the calendar time for painting, it is taken out of service. A pushback truck is used to tow the aircraft from the apron to the hangar bay. A chemical solvent is used for paint stripping. When the solvent is applied to the paint, it dissolves the old paint. The surface is often cleaned with an acid etch solution, and the paint leftovers are sanded and washed away with an alkaline aviation cleaner. This completes the paint stripping, leaving the metal substrate exposed. To begin the repainting process, a chromate free primer is applied to the substrate. This prepares the surface for the top coat. The top coat is usually white paint applied to all the painted surfaces. The high volume, low pressure paint sprayers are the go-to option for an even, high quality paint layer. All the other coats that carry different wording and liveries are applied on top of the top coat. While military and commercial airplanes are on a journey of continuous evolution with cutting edge technologies, the trades that are involved with the upkeep of the aircraft are also undergoing a transformation. That's the end of this video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.